Welcome to the Kakadu Cab. <laughs> Love to go. All you gotta do is say yes. Congratulations, Ivy. You just won a trip serious? to Kakadu. Absolutely serious. I'm still stunned, so I'll be really honest. Think, oh, that'd be really nice to do one day. It's one of those one day things that you probably never get a chance to do. I'm Ivy, and this is my Kakadu journey. Welcome to the Meridian Termite Mounds. Hop on out and enjoy. Never seen anything like this before. Really bizarre, it looks really alien. <laughs> The thing that really struck me about the termite mounds was in Sydney and in places around cities, we see them as animals of destruction or insects of destruction, and really there's another dimension to it. So here we are with this spectacular Corroboree Billabong, where you'll hop aboard a cruise with Scotty. The beauty versus the brutality of this place, it makes me really respect the fact that it's so dangerous out here, but you can take that for granted because it's so beautiful and so quiet and serene. One thing I didn't expect to see on the Mary River Cruise was uh, these water lilies. My father built a lot of ponds and he's always got water lilies in them and you get one or two but not this vast field of them. I really like that about this place that you, if you adapt or, you know, nature adapts and it really thrives. I mean, when we're talking about animals and, 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 and plants and, and the people here, but I mean, I think there is this connection between all of them and the land, like there's a real connection and you can feel it. There's something about this place that really just brings everything together. So we're just arriving here at Wildman's Wilderness Lodge. And as you can see, your tents are here uh, pre-pitched for you on the right-hand side. This is no expectations. I, I thought, you know, whatever, if we were just camping, like, if we just slept out here tonight, it would have been perfect. Just nothing can ruin this. I mean, it sounds weird, but I've been living in Sydney for, I think, about 10 years now, and I miss space and just that just personal space and just wide space and sky and it's nice to see it again like this. The best part of my night was my husband and I were sitting on the deck at around 11 o'clock at night and we had these big blankets on us and, and we're just looking at the stars. It was the most clear night. You just get lost in them because it's so vast. That was a really good night for us.